question was, are some vegans into veganism for aesthetics or animal rights? Can some vegans do more for animals? And yeah, definitely, we can all do more, that's for sure. But like the most, the biggest thing you can do is be on YouTube making daily videos. One click of the button reaches like thousands and thousands of people. Like, I had, a, I made a video two days ago that's had like 76,000 views already. It's crazy. So that's so many people you can reach at once with the vegan message. So that is, that is my best advice. Get on YouTube. And yeah, if you really care about animals and you really want to make an impact, get a YouTube channel happening. Because I've done leaf living, I've smashed windows, I've <laughs> flipped microwaves through McDonald's drive through windows, <coughs> flipped over cars, set animals free, you know, risk jail time, all that. That's good, but nothing's more effective than YouTube, really. That's the old way to do it. It's still valuable, but you're not a very good activist if you're in jail, you know? So, another good way is just lit, uh, doing leaflets in people's letterboxes. That's a good one. But YouTube's great, trolling. World's biggest zit. Keeps clicking it. I want to see a zit. And they get a health message. I <laughs> trolled, man. I did one of those videos, got 3 million views, that's 10 grand. Brand new S Works Tarmac disc, whatever, you know, like. Or a six month dollar in Thailand for 10,000 bucks. Making a one minute zit video to troll kids about the dairy industry. So it's, it's incredible. But I think every activism works, but social media age. It's most, most effective. Like, the internet connects so many people. One click. Wearing shirts everywhere you go, like that Ginjay shirt. It's good. <laughs>